Hey, what is going on guys? I want to make this quick video real fast. I was running into a little issue with my installation disc on the new MacBook Air. So I figured I'd make this quick tip on how to quickly create an ISO image from an installation disc. So what you're going to need, the easiest way is a Mac with a disc drive or a super drive. Um, you can always get the external super drive that's USB powered and plug it in if you want to. But I'm using my old MacBook Pro, so all you got to do is insert your installation disk that you want to turn to an ISO. And once you do that, go ahead and make your way over to the disk utility. Now just give it a second here to read the disk and mount it here. So here it is right here. I am using a copy of Windows XP for this demonstration. And all you have to do is go to File, New Image, and click Image from your installation disk. And then you can go ahead, put in a name for it. I'm actually going to put Service Pack 2, because that's what I have. Just put in whatever name you want. Choose where you would like to save it. And then on the format, what you want to do is click the DVD slash CD Master. And it's as simple as that. All you have to do is click on Save, and it's going to create the disk image. Now, it may ask you for your password. Just go ahead and enter your password. It's really simple and all you gotta do now is wait it takes a mm, few minutes depending on the size of the disk windows xp fortunately is relatively small i think it's like 500 something megabytes so whenever this gets done i will come back and show you the next step all right guys so when it gets done all you gotta do is hit done you can go ahead and get out of the disk utility if you want to and depending on wherever you saved you should have a new ISO file. Now you may notice that it says .cdr. Basically .cdr and .iso are the exact same thing. So you need to just go ahead, just so you can have an ISO file, just name the file extension .iso and it's going to confirm that you want to change it, uh, change the file type, so just hit use ISO. And that's it guys, this file right here is now an ISO image created from the installation disk. So guys, that's going to do it for this video, just a real quick tip here, it might help somebody out. Uh, so anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.